What's up, guys? It's your boy, Paul. I'm back with you. This is Ride Out Reviews, and I have an old school movie review for you. Have you guys remember the movie Ninja Assassin? Man, it's on Netflix, and maybe you should check it out. So, Ninja Assassin stars Rain, Rick Yoon, and Naomi Harris. So, a young ninja turns his back on his father and his family who raised him and taught him to be the warrior that he is. And seeking revenge, he comes back and does something terrible to him. Man, uh, when I turned this on, me and my wife had a little date night, Japanese night, you know, and I was like, well, let's watch a ninja movie. We had some good stuff, too. It was so awesome. But uh, as soon as I started watching this, I felt really bad that I would say that this is a Japanese movie. Ninjas are Japan or from Japan. So I guess I justified it in that. But this is a far cry from Japanese. Everybody speaks English real well in their own country when they're at the house, when they're doing everything. That is literally all it is. It is not Japanese in one sense. But let's get to the good. The good is, man, if you like gore and chopping arms and body and blood coming out, then this will be uh, for you. Instantly, the first scene, man, dude just gets his head sliced. It's like, I didn't even see his tongue going, ah. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot more gruesome than I remembered. Remember, I was a kid. Man, I wasn't a kid. I was like 20, and I was like, man, let's, let's go watch this movie, Ninja Assassin, man, about the ninjas chopping folks up. It's going to be dope. And then I turned it on the day, and I was like, whoa, I don't remember none of this. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the uh, over-goreness of Quentin Tarantino's uh Samurai movie, Kill Bill. Just tons of blood, tons of blood. The thing about this is it also made me think about like Sin City or uh, that ghost movie or whatever, the comic book story, because the blood was just so red. It was like cartoonish blood that was seeping out of these people's body. And uh, it was an insane amount, so it was a ton. And I guess now I feel like I'm going back to bad. Because <laughs> there wasn't much good in it. It is definitely a fun watch if you are just wanting to sit back, eat some popcorn, chill, and laugh. Because you'll be like, dude, this is insane. The story stinks. The acting stinks. The fighting is okay. It's, some of it is cool. And then it just like has some weird transitions to make you think about all the blood and gore and stuff. And then just how the ninjas be sliding like into the shadows. They're like, shh, shh. You're like, oh man. Shh, shh. Oh man, he just hid. And then the dudes start hiding. He's like, like, whoa, he ain't even shadows now. It's all hidden. And then they show him fighting. There was a scene, man, where they were... uh. In the house, he stopped the, the, the ninja from killing this girl. And, and she's looking around for him, has the flashlights. And they be showing him in the little flashlight, like a spotlight. Like, her flashlight's like the best one I've ever had, man. I've never had a flashlight so good because it's just a perfect beam casting straight into a big circle. And everybody, or the two ninjas are fighting and you can see them well. But then after that, she takes the flashlight to look for the dude and can't find him. Until she agrees to not shoot him if he sees him. And he just... Slides out. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I watched this movie, dude. It's so funny. It's just, I don't know. It's like thinking about movies when you watch them as a kid and then you come back and revisit them and then you realize maybe this movie wasn't as good or as awesome as I thought. When I first saw it on Netflix, I was like, oh, man, I'm putting that on my queue. I'm going to watch it, man. I remember that show was Beast. It wasn't as Beast as I remember it to be. But guess what? I saw Mortal Kombat on there, too. So I'm about to check that out. So check that out. As soon as I put it out, I'm about to watch that again. That's going to be dope, man. Because Mortal Kombat definitely fun in my heart, man. I rank this movie a 2 out of 5 R's. Yeah. Check it out if you want to laugh. It's Netflix. You ain't got nothing to do in this COVID season. Redeemable. Well, definitely not. Not very much redeemable about this movie. Definitely 
not. So, glad you guys checked it out, man. Uh, let me know in the comments, is this something that you're going to watch? Is this something that you like? When you was a kid, man, what are some movies you thought were dope, but you found out later on when you got older, as you watched it again, that it ain't as good as it... Not as good as uh, what you thought it would be. What you remembered it to be. Man, I'd like to know, all right? I appreciate you guys for watching, man. Check out some of my other content if you haven't, man. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you saw. Hit the bell, you know. Check out some of my videos. Get notified when they come out. I appreciate you guys again for watching. Keep watching movies, television shows, trailers. And stay in and have a great time on Netflix.